Hey, Jonathan here from Buffalo Modular Homes, and I wanna do this update video on the corner house. We'll be doing a walkthrough video very soon, but I wanna do this update showing you some of the landscaping and the impact that landscaping can have on your project. So let's take a look. All right, so we're standing right on the corner here, and uh, as you can see, exterior is all finished. It looks beautiful. Like I said, we'll do a full walkthrough video um, shortly, but um, for this, I wanted to show some of the landscaping things that we did with this. We kept this big tree that was here on the corner. We kept this tree on the corner. Pretty important for this property based on it being right in the middle of a busy intersection, right? So, but what we did as well is um, kind of hide the house in all of this landscaping. So you'll see as we kind of come around uh, the side of the property, you'll see we did a bunch of arborvitaes in here to kind of basically create a big wall almost um so you know something else other than a fence uh you know looks a little bit more a little bit more friendly having the arborvitaes in here it's gonna look great when this is all done you can see that uh <clears throat> seating is being done right now um so it's all gonna be grass in here as well but you can see we got this arborvitae fence basically all along this whole line right it's gonna look fantastic and, and coming in through here which gives you without getting my shoes completely filled with mud um, this will give you a nice basically a, a nice yard in here actually believe it or not in the middle of this busy intersection this is actually gonna have a yard uh, I mean that seems crazy but um, this is what your landscaping can do for you when you're looking at a, um, a tight situation with you know close neighbors or things like that. Uh, maybe some things to consider for your project. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope this is helpful to you as you're considering your building project and thinking about something like landscaping. That's a big deal for making the house look completely finished. You really wanna consider all aspects of the build. You wanna consider uh, everything in the house. You wanna consider all your furnishings. You wanna consider paint colors. You wanna consider landscaping. You wanna consider the property. All of these things work together to make a house really feel like a home. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps you in your project. Reminds me, uh, we did a, a post on social media, I don't know, a couple years back or something like that. And it was, uh, the house was just finished and we took some pictures of the outside and it was clay, soil and stuff like that. And so it's all lumpy and, you know, looks ridiculous and stuff like that because, you know, your finished grade from your excavator on clay is not gonna be very nice. You really need to do a finished grade on it uh, and, and put topsoil down and stuff like that, right? So, um, we posted this <laughs> this photo of this this property, and somebody <laughs> somebody posted something. I don't know who it was. Posted something like, uh, "This looks like garbage." <laughs> it looks like garbage. And it's like, I mean, yeah, I understand. You got to consider the long term of the project. You really have to think about your landscaping. It's a big deal. Expecting the house all by itself to carry all of the weight of everything for the property is asking a lot of it. Now, it's certainly the main feature point, but it's kind of like when you put furnishings in your home and that, and you look at it when it's empty versus furnishings in it or versus things on the walls, you know, it starts to come to life. It starts to really feel like it's, it's a home rather than just a house. So just stuff to be thinking about for your project. Uh, and maybe let's, uh, let's, be, let's be kind with our comments. <laughs>have picked uh one of the windiest days uh <laughs> to do this video plus also one of the busiest intersections uh that you'll see in this area um but what's kind of cool with that is you'll see in time as the landscaping matures it will uh soften the wind right you won't you want to have as many wind issues on this property plus uh also dampen the sound much like when you put your furnishings in a home uh it's real echoey at first and then you put your furnishings in put you know maybe carpet in or put some things on the walls and stuff like that and really start to dress it up it ends up you know really kind of deadening the sound quite a bit it'll do the same thing with your landscaping so you got to consider the long term of it um, and think through all these things